Hi guys, this is Dia and welcome back to Mom and Me, a place where you get your weekly dose of mommy motivation. So if you are in need of some motivation today, stay tuned. We all are in the middle of a pandemic and prefer to stay home most of the times. But there are times when we must step out like buying essential services like fruits, vegetables and other groceries. And we also prefer purchasing in bulk to eliminate the need of frequent trips outside. However, bulk buying also results in food wastage. So today I will show you ways to store your fresh veggies so that they last at least for 3 to 4 weeks and that you do not have to make frequent trips to the farmer's market. Before we look into the ways to store fresh produce, let's understand why it's important. So let's look into some stats first. Oh my child, I know you heard and you can't let go. It's not your fault and you don't deserve. According to the worldcounts.com, roughly a third of the world's food is wasted. That's about 1.3 billion tons a year. Huge amounts of food is also lost simply because we throw it away, which mainly comes from the household. And here is where we can make a difference. Much of it is still perfectly fit for eating. And imagine this perfectly fit food could have fed a lot of poor people on this planet, isn't it? Food wastage also has environmental issues like wastage of water, the land area to produce the food that was simply wasted. According to the worldcounts.com, if food waste were a country, it would be the world's third largest emitter of CO2 after China and the US. Not only is this a waste of water and energy used to grow the food, but it produces methane, which is a more powerful greenhouse gas than carbon dioxide. Experts say saving food waste can do more for the environment than turning the lights off. And then there's cost to your wallet and so on. So homemakers, let's do our bit by trying not to waste any food and hence let's look into the ways to store vegetables in the fridge for as long as possible so that we do not end up wasting and dumping them in the landfills. So let's find out how to store individual vegetables. Let me first start with my food wasted story and how I got inspired to start looking into how much food waste comes from my household. I had this perception of avoiding food contact with plastic. So as soon as my husband would buy groceries, I would immediately take them off the plastic bags and store them in mesh bags. But when I stored vegetables this way, it did not stop them from rotting or wilting and many times I would end up throwing away the food that we could have consumed. I get this immense guilt when I throw the food and really wanted to do something about it as our little efforts will make a big impact on our mother earth and our future generation. I never realized that few veggies need not to be taken out of their plastic packaging as that's where they keep at their best. Also, we do not have to wash everything before storing into the fridge as it might reduce its shelf life. So I started looking for different ways to store each vegetable and tried and tested them over a period of few weeks. And I will share my findings and lessons I learned. By the way, I looked up each individual vegetable on Google and found ways to store them. Also, I always use Google as my research platform. So all the information shared today or in any of my past videos has been researched from an open platform that is Google and nowhere else. There are tons of resources on the Google and I'm sure many other people look into same resources and our information might duplicate, which cannot be called plagiarism or copying as I have put in my time and effort to read a lot of articles, shoot, edit and bring this information to you guys. So let's appreciate the 30 to 35 odd hours that I've put in to get such content out to you guys. Anyway, let me talk about which were the vegetables that were most prone to rotting in my house. 
carrots, cauliflower, broccoli and green beans were few of the culprits. That would not last even one week and surprisingly the rotting process was faster than we could imagine. Now I have found ways to keep them fresh and crisp for more than two weeks. Vegetables like moisture but they hate being wet and soggy and sitting in water. Also, you should always skim through the food batch and look for bad pieces as it will emit ethylene gas and will fasten the food rotting of the good produce as well. Also, removing pesticides from the produce is an important step before storing and especially before consuming. One sure way to remove pesticides from fruits and vegetables is to use baking soda, vinegar or lemon juice and soak the produce in either of these for at least 5 to 10 minutes to eliminate surface level pesticides from the produce. The pesticides that have penetrated inside the produce gets removed during the cooking process. So never skip proper washing as pesticides can have a range of hormonal imbalances in our body. Now let's see some most common vegetables and proper ways to store them. Potatoes, onions and garlic. First mistake I was doing was storing potatoes close to onions as onions cause potatoes to go bad quicker. A sure sign that potatoes are close to onions is that potatoes start sprouting. So keep them separate and increase their shelf life. You can store different varieties of potatoes like washed, unwashed, sweet potatoes etc together. Onions on the other hand like well ventilated storage and they keep best in the mesh bags they come in. I will be transferring them to this jute bag as otherwise dry onion skin causes a lot of mess in the bottom drawers and I hate to keep cleaning it. Also separate the ones that has dull or broken skin as these are the signs of old onions that will rot faster and also cause good ones to rot as well. You can store garlic with onions but not with potatoes. Coming to garlic, garlic should also be stored in cool and dry place just like onions and potatoes. If kept this way under the right conditions, the head will stay fresh for a few months. Garlic's lifespan begins to decrease once you break apart the head and take out the individual cloves. A broken head will keep for about 3 to 10 days only. So make it a point to use it up first before breaking open a new head. Peel it and store it in an airtight container or a Ziploc bag or a silicone bag as such if you want to save space in your fridge. But make sure to keep them airtight to avoid sprouting. I woke up in the middle of the night mm -hmm, na, na, na. And I wondered how you always write It gets me Now let's see how to store tomatoes if your tomatoes are unripe, store them on the countertop at room temperature or a cooler pantry is the best place to ripen your tomatoes. Unripe tomatoes are usually green or have a patch of green skin on them. They will also be hard when lightly squeezed. Putting unripe tomatoes in the fridge significantly slows down the ripening process so never refrigerate unless tomatoes are ripe. If you want to speed up the ripening process, place few apples along with tomatoes and you will see green patches disappear within 24 hours. If you have ripe tomatoes that you are unable to use immediately, you should put them in the fridge. This will significantly slow down or even halt the ripening process keeping them from going bad too quickly. Keep them in a crisper set at low humidity. I like to wash them before storing so that they are easy to grab and use when need be. Another alternative to store tomatoes is to make tomato paste. If you are in meal planning then you must be familiar with the fact that how quick it is to make gravies or vegetables if you have tomato puree on hand. Tomato should never go in the fridge, says few experts, because refrigeration makes them soft and mushy. That's absolutely true. But if you buy in bulk, say 4 to 5 kgs, then it won't last long on the countertop and has to be refrigerated, as at room temperature, tomatoes keep good only for few days. I couldn't see what you saw in me. Ooh. But you showed me how to believe.
battle against me. Now let's see how to store green chilies and ginger. I do not use fresh green chilies a lot as I have two little babies who cannot handle a lot of spice. But I buy it for few recipes and I observe that they get moldy in about a week. I read somewhere to take stem off so that they last long. But still I found my chilies getting moldy in less than two weeks. So if you want to use them for as long as possible, try this trick. Wash and dry them, take stems off and then store them in a Ziploc bag in the freezer section. This way your green chilies will last for months to come. Actually chilies will last well for about 6 months in the freezer. You can do same for ginger as well because when I was storing ginger in the fridge, I observed it was getting moldy within a week, just after a week I would say. So to preserve them for long, wash and wipe them properly and once gingers are dry, cut them into desired pieces. I highly recommend cutting them into small pieces as once you freeze them, it becomes difficult to cut. Now bag them in a Ziploc bag and freeze them. You don't have to use a silicone or a Ziploc bag you can actually use just a plastic container to store it as well but using a bag saves you so much space and you can store so much more one issue i observed freezing the ginger is that once you thaw it it becomes soft and mushy and if you press the juice comes out i personally didn't find this problematic as freezing maintained the freshness and the flavor of the ginger but if you don't like this mushy texture you are better off storing it in the fridge rather than freezer so just bear this in mind now let's look at lemons. Did you know that lemons or any citrus for the matter of fact, they do not ripe after it's been picked. So whether it's lemons or oranges, once they are picked, they will stop the ripening process. But they can go off or dry and even turn black due to loss of moisture. So to store them, wash lemons and store them in a Ziploc bag or a plastic bag. This will keep them fresh for weeks to come because the moisture won't be lost. When I look back, I can see green peas. I get green peas from supermarkets frozen section and they last for months and months. I would recommend taking green peas out of the pods and sealing them in a Ziploc bag and freezing them. This way you can use them even in off season when peas are not available. Now let's look how to store capsicum. Capsicums are thick skin and like all thick skin vegetables, they need to be stored in the crisper drawer. If left on the shelf, they will wilt and the skin will become wrinkly. So store all thick skin vegetables like tomatoes, capsicum, avocado, eggplant, beetroot in crisper. They need to go to crisper drawer for them to last long. They like low moisture. So if you can adjust crisper drawer settings, set it at low moisture level. Your crisper drawers are actually one of the best ways to help preserve vegetables and reduce food wastage. Now next one is cauliflower, cabbage and broccoli. Now this is the most useful tip which work like a charm and believe me you can store cauliflower, broccoli and cabbage fresh for at least 2-3 to three weeks and it will remain crisp and fresh. So take cauliflower, no need to wash it. Well, you can, but you will have to wash it thoroughly in hot water before cooking anyways. So better leave it. Do not glad wrap it as the plastic wrap will trap the moisture leading to sockiness and eventually turn the florets brown. Ideally, you want to buy a full head of cauliflower rather than a plastic bag of pre-cut florets. Once you get the cauliflower home, all you have to do is to put the head of cauliflower in an open plastic bag with a paper towel on top of the head and pop it in the fridge stem side up so that the head does not collect moisture, rather it slides down. Whole heads of cauliflower can be kept in loosely sealed plastic bag in the refrigerator for at least two to three weeks and believe me it does works. 
You can store cabbage and broccoli in a similar way too. There is no need to put them in the crisper as these are big vegetables and may take a lot of space or might not even fit in the crisper. So keep them on the shelf. They will be protected from cold and dry atmosphere of the fridge as they are bagged in the plastic bag and will definitely stay fresh. So give it a try. So what's your feelings? The city screaming when I'm coming home tonight. Next vegetable is carrots. Carrots like humidity, so store them in either of these two ways. First, place washed carrots in a jar or pitcher filled with water. This will maintain the moisture levels and keep carrots fresh for weeks, even months. Make sure to change the water every few days or else the water will turn cloudy. This way, carrots will stay fresh for at least a month, maybe more. The second method would be place washed carrots in a loose plastic bag. No need to add a paper towel as you want to maintain high moisture level which carrots love. So if they come in a plastic packaging, keep them in the package and do not take them out and store in a mesh bag that I used to do before. I did this mistake and my carrots would turn dry, limp and black in few days due to loss of moisture. People talk and tell what you want They all disappeared, they will let you down So we better stick together, let's come whatever when I'm coming home tonight Now coming to the veggie category which is famous for getting bad or off very quickly Green leafy vegetables all leafy vegetables love high humidity and low temperature. So let's first look at coriander. Coriander is the most used Indian herb. I cannot do without coriander in my kitchen but even after sorting it in a paper towel, it would rot in matter of few days and I hate to see yellow and brown coriander as I love this herb. I have now found a perfect way to store coriander. So here are the steps you will have to follow. Wash the coriander thoroughly once you buy it from the store. Now leave it to dry for few hours. Use an old bed sheet or a paper towel underneath to absorb excess moisture. Once it's dry, place it in an airtight container wrapped in a paper towel. Now make sure to take off the air by closing the airtight lid. Last but not the least, store in the coldest part of the fridge, which is the bottom most shelf, far end of the shelf. If you have a chiller compartment in your fridge, it's best place to store all your greens. This is my coriander after three weeks of storing and you can see it's still 90% good. Take off any bits and pieces that you feel will go off soon and voila your coriander finally can stay fresh for three to four weeks which in my case used to never happen before. Like coriander, even spinach needs to be washed and we need to remove the rotten leaves. Once washed, dry them on a kitchen towel and once it's completely dry, off it goes in the fridge in the coldest part. This will stay good for one week without any rot. If you want to keep spinach any longer, I recommend blanching it and then refrigerate. That way it will last easily for two to three weeks. One piece of advice here is to blanch and puree the spinach before storing. As I have observed, once you refrigerate the blanched leaves, full leaves, for some reason it is so difficult to puree it later. So blanch and puree before storing. Coming to methi or fenugreek leaves. If you want to store them for around one week, store unwashed leaves wrapped in a paper towel. But if you want to store for weeks or months, store them in the freezer. Here is how I did. I recommend washing the leaves before storing in the freezer. Once washed, dry it on a kitchen towel and once dry, store it in a Ziploc bag with a paper towel in it. When you want to use it, take it out of the freezer and chop it and simply use. Do not store unwashed as once you take it out, it has high moisture levels already and you do not want to add any more moisture by washing it after thawing. Also, do not chop and store as it may lead to loss of nutrition. So, 
follow these tips and make your greens last longer. So guys, this is all I have to share about how to store your fresh vegetables. If you want me to cover other vegetables, please mention them in the comment section below. You know how happy I am to say this after years. Please mention in the comment section below. I never got to say this for years and if you haven't checked my community post why my comment section were off you might want to check it because i'm still getting a lot of comments on my community post asking why comment section were off oh my god so many comments 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 anyways also if you'd like to see how to store fruits then don't forget to like this video and leave a comment which fruits would you like me to cover i hope you enjoyed watching this video i will see you guys next wednesday with another video bye for now, love you guys. We're living quick in this world, gonna get it right now. We only need the two of us together.